September 8, 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and He turned and addressed them, If anyone comes to Me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be My disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, will he suspend a delegation to ask for peace terms? In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord Total Availability and Commitment For anyone who wishes to become his disciples, Jesus demands total dependence on God's providence. It is natural for anyone who embarks on a project to do the calculation whether his resources would be enough to finish it. But in the project of life for his disciples, what Jesus demands is total availability and commitment. God will provide for all the rest. Many founders of religious congregations started with an initial inspiration to do something for God's people. God multiplied their efforts and sent more people to accomplish God's project. After all, it is God's work, and God means to accomplish it. What is needed is the commitment and perseverance on our part as disciples of Jesus. Paul, writing to the Philippians, gives us his experience to learn from. Whether gains I had, this I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. More than that, I even consider everything as a loss, because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much rubbish that I may gain Christ. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession off by Christ, forgetting what lies behind but straining forward to what lies ahead. I continue my pursuit toward the goal, the price of God's upward calling in Christ Jesus.